Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the July Horror Bam Box, um, or Bam Box Horror, as it's usually said. But there's no horror on the box, so I'm hoping this actually is the horror box and not just another one of the original boxes, which I already unboxed. You can see that video. Um, it was good. It was a good box. So, yeah. Um... I know one of the uh, of the properties for this box, and I'm very excited about that. It's the art print, and one of the things that they started doing is allowing people to vote in their Bambox community, just kind of saying, leaving it open, not having um, pre-chosen choices, but just saying, let us know what you want for the art print, and people just throw their ideas and votes out there, and yeah, it's been pretty good thus far. All right. Tissue paper one. Oh, the second tissue paper that went flying. The third tissue paper, which the OG box also had three tissue papers. Let me get this over here. My cat wants to get in on it. All right. So the first thing feels like a throwing star or something. Yeah. I don't know what this would be from, honestly. What would this be? I mean, hmm. What is this from? I don't know. Uh, obviously the prop replica. Um, I mean, based on how it looks, I would think that it would be something from like Underworld, like the Underworld movies. Whoop, drop that back. Yeah, like the Underworld movies maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm trying to put it back in that thing. It's a little challenging. We'll have to see as I move on. Sorry, the lighting's coming and going. I don't get it. Okay, so that's only one prop replica there. So it's very heavy. It's metal. You can see. All right, so the pin. One of my favorite things. Pretty much always my favorite thing. All right. This is by Dirty Girl Pinko. And it's... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Now I remember this. Okay, so this is supposed to be the 8-bit... Jason Voorhees mask from the old school video game, but this, the property for this was the Friday the 13th video game, which if people haven't played that, it's relatively cheap, it's a lot of fun actually, the multiplayer in it leaves plenty of room for hilarious antics and good times, so they have a special skin that you can get um, that's the 8-bit the Jason, if you're playing Jason in the game, and then it has, like, the 8-bit music that goes with him whenever he's around the counselors and they're hiding, so, um, that's pretty cool. It doesn't, I mean, it looks a little bit extra boxy, but at the same time, I bet as a pin, that's kind of hard to execute, so, cool, but at the same time, it, people who aren't, like, super familiar, I don't think they'd look at this and say, oh, that's a Jason mask. Like, it's really hard to kind of tell that it is a Jason mask. It's cool, though. Since I know what it is, like, I like it. I think it's cool. So. All right. The art print, which I know what the property is. Oh, please, it's going to be awesome. Uh, done by Brad Albright. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is a, a style I've not seen before. It actually almost looks like 3D. I got number 329 out of 1,500, so I wonder if that's a variant or not. So as you can see, it's Ash Williams from Ash vs. Evil Dead, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness. So that's cool. Yeah, that's an interesting um, art style that we've not seen before. But yeah, it looks it looks like very 3D when you look at it, because it's like lines on top of lines, like layered like a 3D thing. It's cool. You can tell that it's Ash Williams. And then the autograph. Wow little light on things, but hey. Uh, this is signed by Zach Ward, who played Bobby Davis in Freddy vs. Jason. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Boom. Freddy vs. Jason. I like, I like this. This as the thing that's signed. That picture is tight. You know, a lot of people really hated Freddy vs. Jason, but I gotta be honest, I liked it. I didn't like it because it was like an awesome movie. It was just like fun. And that and to me, that's what Freddy vs. Jason was supposed to be. It's just like fun. Especially when you put, you know, Freddy with Jason. Freddy's very, very comedy driven. Wasn't in the first movie or two, but ended up being very comedy driven, so that's what he's known for. And, 
you know, Jason doesn't talk at all, so obviously it'd be kind of comedic. Uh, and if people want to remember what this guy looked like, let's see if I can get it up there. Let's see, there you go. That dude in Freddy vs. Jason. He was significant enough in the movie. Um, that's good. That's a good autograph. I like that. Oh, oh, there's 3D glasses that were under the autograph. So this, oh, this is 3D. It is 3D. Boom. Now, ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is cool. Well, I'm glad I said it looks 3D because I was right. It is 3D. That's cool. I wish I could, like, put an effect on there where I could, like, put it up and be like, now you can see it in 3D. But you can't. Um, it is really cool. It gives a lot of depth, like, a lot of depth to it. It makes the, uh, the shed, like, or the shack, the cat cabin, sorry. <laughs> it makes the cabin stick out a lot in the back, and it makes ash stick out a lot in the front. Um, it's, yeah, that's cool, man. And the Necronomicon's popping up down here, too. And the shovel and the severed limbs, and that's cool. Oh, I like that. That's a really cool idea. Um, I'll take more of these uh, 3D ones. That would be pretty awesome. Since we already have the 3D glasses, just send us more 3D ones. All right, the spoiler sheet. Shouldn't be too much going on with this. Um, so for the autograph, oh. Hmm? Okay. Oh, well, that's interesting. So there was no one-up in there, but I got a one-up because that signed picture of Freddy vs. Jason, that was limited edition, only 99 of them. At least it says that here. Can you guys see it all right? There you go. I'll try and lighten it up post here. So that's a normal one down here. I'm 99. Really? Does it say that on the back? Is it, like, numbered? Did I just miss that it's numbered? It's not numbered, though. I think I should have numbered it. Oh, well. It's cool. I like it. I'm glad I got that one. Really glad I did. And then there was a limited edition... Oh, okay. Of the of the art print. It just says, Hail to the King, baby, instead of Groovy up in the corner. But it looks the same otherwise. See? So. It doesn't really matter to me which one I would have gotten there. Because they're both cool. All right. Oh, okay, so that little, like, throwing star thing. I was on the right track with Evolution. It's uh, Resident Evil Afterlife and Resident Evil 4. So Mila Jovovich's character would, like, throw those, mess up the zombies. So, um, yeah, I don't think you really need to see it, but it's not a whole lot. It's got a picture of her using it. Whatever. Uh, then there were the pins. So I got the most common pin. There was a out of 250 where it shows like the whole body of Jason in 8-bit form with an axe. And I'll show it to you in a minute. And then out of 99, and it's just like a block that says, you and your friends are dead, game over. I don't think I like that, honestly. It's too vague. People won't necessarily know what that is. But the out of 251 is cool. I like that. Eh, I mean, I'm fine with getting a regular one. And then the giveaway, they had uh, a screen-used extra blood wound for actress Michelle Rodriguez's character Rain from the movie Resident Evil Retribution. The prop was used in the actual movie and will come with a prop COA. Eh, that's interesting. See, I like when they do like really cool stuff like that. There you go. It's a little bit better lighting. Yeah, so... Um, the box seems light because there was one less prop, but I'm totally fine with that because I'm not huge on the props. Um, good box. I mean, the pin is cool, even though I was like, if people don't already know what this is, it'd be kind of hard to tell, so that's kind of a little bit of a... Uh, but the pin is cool for me. Um, obviously, the autograph is quite cool. Uh, pretty significant person in the movie, and the one I got in particular, that's the, the rare one. Really cool. And the art print, I mean, first effect is Ash Williams. I love, like, Ash. I love Army of Darkness, Evil Dead, Ash vs. Evil Dead, all that kind of stuff. And um, the fact that it's 3D. That's very, very cool, very... I wonder if that was the idea of the artist. Let me shout out the, let me shout out the artist again. Um, Brad Albright. Uh, I wonder if it was his idea or if Bambox was like, hey, do you think you could do this? I'd be interested to know that, but... Definitely cool. I And like I said, I want to see more of that type of stuff. That would be really awesome. Just because it adds a little extra to it. A little interactivity with the art. Um, 
So, yeah. I mean, it's a good box. I'm, I'm down with it, and hopefully the August box will be cool. I was really fighting on the voting for what the art print should be for August to get, like, one particular thing. I'm a big Cabin in the Woods fan. Love, love, love Cabin in the Woods. One of my favorite horror films. Um, but it didn't go that way. It went with something else, which I was kind of like, really? There are that many people that like that movie? But the art could be really cool for it. So... Yeah, the art could be really cool. So everyone stay tuned for next month's. Uh, and I might do some other unboxings. You know, the channel is growing. I'm over 100 at this point. At, when I'm doing this, it's 110 subscribers. So please help me grow it a little bit more. Everyone hit subscribe. It doesn't take you much time to do that. Also, click the little notification bell. So then you'll know when I'm putting videos up. I'm not putting a ton of videos up, but I'll try and put more up as I can uh, and as the channel grows. And as the channel grows, it'll encourage me to do maybe more boxes, maybe do like a pop in a box or like Loot Fright when that comes out. It's Loot Crate's uh, horror edition of things. So uh, we'll see. But thank you so much. Uh, subscribe, 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 please. It's very painless for you. It's just, just click, like literally just click. Anyway, thanks again for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.